We wanted to, of course, look at the original comic book design by Jack Kirby, take that look, and how do we translate that into a reality of the story that we're telling. I envisioned Scott Lang over the shoulder of Hank Pym, kind of giving him advice and maybe some drawings of like, oh, I like this and can you kind of reconfigure this and make this sleek. It's still a work in progress. Modernized Civil War suit, the retro, Ant-Man one suit, bring those together and come up with a look that's still modern, but has a lot of the design uh, sensibilities of that original suit. There's one moment in Avengers Endgame, you, you probably remember where they're trying to figure out time travel. One of the things that I always wanted to add to the Ant-Man suit, if you see the original Jack Kirby design, he's got this kind of circle right in the center of his chest. So through the years, I, I have, you know, attempted to putting that circle in there. In the beginning, I was exploring a lot of suits that were intentionally made to go into the quantum realm. Where we ended up was more of the traditional kind of look of Ant-Man, because once they kind of developed the story, they kind of realized that they're going to be falling into the quantum realm more accidentally rather than purposely. It's been really rewarding to be a small part in this whole Ant-Man franchise. When you think of an ant, like no one thinks powerful. Like you, you think it's something to be crushed. But we all know that they can do a lot of damage. He can cause damage and he can do heroic things. It's just more hidden. Yeah.